Yeah, what's going on YouTube? It's Coach PJ coming to you live from Fight Camp HQ. I'm back with another equipment review and today we're going to be talking about one of the most effective tools that can improve your overall boxing defense. Let's talk about it. Whenever you're going to build out a home gym and you're trying to improve your overall skills, right? You might consider things like, I don't know, jump ropes for an example. You might have a jump rope or two. You might go with a speed bag, right? Of course, if you're putting together a home boxing gym, you gotta have a heavy bag. None better than the Fight Camp heavy bag you see right here. But if you're wanting to improve upon your defense, maybe you might wanna consider a slip bag. Now, this is a really interesting and sometimes dangerous tool, I will say. Now, this is not a slip bag. Um, yeah, that, that's, wow, okay. Uh, now this, this is a slip bag. You'll see some examples. Slip bags can be cool, they can be practical, right? I kinda, I dig that guy, all right, yeah. I'm, I'm also narrating about myself, imagine. Now we've also, really, we've seen one of the goats, one of the greatest fighters of all time, Iron Mike Tyson famously used the slip bag. We've all seen this clip. If one of the best of all time uses it, well, why can't you incorporate it into your training regimen? Now, this specific slip bag is the title boxing custom motto slip bag. Speaking of Uncle Mike, yeah. Now, this is a pretty premium, good quality one in my opinion. I've used a lot of different slip ropes, but essentially a slip rope is going to be a rope with a weight at the end of it, which essentially is going to try to help mimic punches, which will help you improve your boxing defense and your head movement. Now, you can actually craft one yourself, which is really cool. If you are not able to budget out for the title custom model bag, you can get a little creative and use maybe a rope and a tennis ball, some sort of lightweight. Again, lightweight. Please do not use a kettlebell in place of a slip bag. That's, this is a PSA from Coach PJ to you, okay? Thank you. Anyway, the slip bag, again, I think is a really cool tool because you can slowly build up the defensive skills and use this in a safe manner to help you. Now, the one thing I will say is you usually will need to hang it from somewhere, like a garage, or in this case, we're using the hook where we have heavy bags hanging. And what I'm gonna do is essentially, or try to line up that bag with about where my chin eye level is, okay? You don't wanna have it down here so you're getting hit in the chin and the neck and you don't want it to be too high up so you're just sitting here doing this and not really working your head movement at all because it's too high and it's not impacting you. You want it to be close to you, right? Because I think training in a way where the danger is a little real, that might help you, you know, get that fight or flight in you and move out the way. Now, I think one of the most basic and fundamental ways to use a tool like this is to simply let it swing, right? Finding the range of where that slip bag is going to be at is gonna be key because again, boxing is a game of inches. When you slip and get out of the way of the punch, if you slip all the way out here away from your opponent, you might miss, but you're not gonna be in a position to counter and to make them pay. So essentially, right, one of the keys a great coach taught me is try to make your opponent miss by an inch. If you can get out of the way of your opponent without having to do too much extra movement, you can be set up for a better position to counter where you make them miss and make them pay. So once you can establish the range of where your slip bag is going to go to, you can safely try your best to get the head out of the way. Now I'm gonna try to always practice and teach good fundamentals. So chin down, hands up. You don't wanna get into that position of working a slip bag with your hands down and trying to do all this and looking like you're twerking. It's not a good look. It's not, it's really, it's really not. But do you boo, do you. Now, whatever you gotta do, again, I'm gonna try to get into a position where I know where I'm at. Hands are up, my chin is down. And I'm gonna get into range of where this can actually hit me, right? Now I know it's a little tricky. You're like, oh no, am I gonna get hit? If you have a good, well-made, crafted tool, it's not gonna hurt you too much, no matter how fast it swings. Ideally though, you still don't want to get hit. That's why we work on head movement in boxing defense. So 
when I'm gonna get into range where again, I can get hit here now. And what I wanna simply do is bending at the knees, bending at the waist, move my head off of the center line, and then I'm gonna get back to that center line. That's the first step, right? Now again, I can stop it anytime I want. I can progress it, bringing it up a little higher, which might improve the speed, right? But then either way, I'm gonna still have to work the foundation of moving off of the line and getting right back. Let's see if I were to switch it this way and show you from another angle what I mean. Again, I wanna get in range where I can, again, clearly get hit. Don't get hit. <laughs> I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes only. But again, I'm gonna slip and get off the line, come back to the center. You wanna make sure you bend at the waist, bend at the knees, and then come back. You can progress from that once you feel comfortable being able to get back without having too much movement and without flinching. Then maybe you can work on slipping to the lead side, then slipping to the rear, and then boom, moving back. Or go the other way, rear, lead, come back. Now I can do the same thing on this side, coming back with two, slip, slip, hands up. So that way, even if I would get hit with the slip bag, I'm gonna be in a safe position to still effectively train. Now there's a lot of ways, again, that you can improve and build on just the slip bag itself. It doesn't have to just necessarily be your head slipping off the center line. You can use the slip bag to duck, to slip and roll. You can roll and pivot and you can move forward and you can get hit anytime, you see what I'm saying? That's why you keep your hands up and you keep your enemies close. Now, like I said before, before I got concussed by this lovely slip bag, you can do so many things with this, okay? Now, I can also, again, work on my offense, incorporating timing and movement with where my range is gonna be at and with how I miss and then make them pay. This, again, can be a tool that you should definitely slowly build up. It's not something that I think day one, all fighters need to be training with, but overall, it's a great tool that can help you improve your defense and even your offense. Now, speaking of great offense, if you wanna train with the best and have in-home personal boxing experience, download the Fight Camp app today and train with your boy every single day. If you found value in this video, would you consider liking it and subscribing? And like always, you know what it is. I hope you guys had the best one. Until then, I'll see you soon. Peace and love. This is Fight Camp, an interactive training camp from the comfort of your own home. Tutorials and guided paths walk you step-by-step -step through the basics and sharpen your technique over time. Punch tracking technology and leaderboards provide you built-in motivation to help you hit your goals. Learn more at fightcamp.com. And I don't expect you to be going non-stop. 